JJ, the CPA here, hope you're doing well. So for the employee retention credit, how do you determine your head count and why does that matter? Well, you determine your head count by the number of full-time employees that you had in 2019. And whatever that head count is, that determines your head count in 2020 and in 2021. That head count in 2019 is only full-time employees. It is not full-time equivalents. You then add up each of your full-time employees for the month, divide it by 12, and therefore you get your head count. The IRS does have some alternative methods if you weren't in business for all of 2019. Now, I want you to note very carefully here, though, that the head count is only a consideration in 2020 and 21 in determining if you're a large or small employer. That head count has no then factor on what employees are included when determining your employee retention credit. So you could have employees that worked for you in 2019, whether full-time, part-time, and they no longer are working for you in 20 or in 21, and that has no factor in your ERTC calculation. That head count, as I indicated, only determines if you're a large or small employer. So if you're a large employer, which in 2020 is defined as more than 100 employees, well, then you would only be able to include the wages paid to employees that didn't work but got paid. In 21, that head count is 500. So if you're over 500 employees in 21, then you're a large employer. So if you're a small employer, which is 100 or less employees in 2020 or 500 or less employees in 2021, then you get to include all the wages to all employees, whether they worked or not. I do want you to note that you're never breaking out employees between essential or non-essential employees. You're not breaking them out between full-time or part-time. You get to include all of the wages for all of the employees. The key here is that if you're a large employer, you only get to include the wages of the employees, no matter their classification, that didn't work but got paid. If you're a small employer, you get to include all the wages of all the employees. Now, there are a few exceptions. What I'd like you to note is that I've got a seminar you can get instant access to, very reasonable. I've got some free resources. I'm going to give you a link to all that in the body of this video. The seminar is over three hours. I walk you through A to Z. It's a real do-it-yourself meant seminar. I give you the PowerPoint to follow along throughout the process. Also, I give you Excel spreadsheets, links to everything from the IRS and the forms, as well as examples and calculations and two additional videos on how to prepare Form 941X step by step. Also, I'm going to give you a link to the executive summary that you can get for free and an article that I wrote, as well as then links to all the IRS's authoritative language. And the links, the executive summary, and the article, you don't even need to give me an email to take advantage of that information. Got a playlist in the body of this video related to ERTC. So get yourself informed. That's why you're listening. Be sure that you do qualify. Be sure that you do understand this. It sounds like a maze, but many that have taken my seminar have said they didn't know anything about taxes, but going through the seminar, they did understand this and how to calculate it, and they were able to go and get this themselves. Even if you're going to hire somebody, still be informed because you as the employer are solely responsible. All right. Hey. Thanks for tuning in. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And then don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me. You have a great one.